You're right guys, it's Captain Guntom here, and uh, today I'm just going to be doing a little talk on the FIFA Street demo. Um, the background video is just uh, me playing in a game against the computer, um, and that's probably going to be my first point to make actually about it. Um, basically, I don't like playing the computer on any game, uh, let alone FIFA games. Uh, I especially hate it on FIFA games. I just find it very static and rigid and a bit boring to be honest so um, that's the first thing I'm just going to say um, so if I do come across, across as a little bit negative at any time I think that's probably the only reason why I'm not completely sold on the game I mean I think that um, after uh, I've played a few more games I'm going to get my mates into my room and we're going to you know, have a go on it properly um, against each other because that's always a good laugh and uh, especially since you can absolutely rinse people in this game which is quite funny um, so yeah, that's uh, the first point I'm going to make. So hopefully, it's going to be good um, against people. I know there might be someone might exploit something. Like uh, obviously on FIFA 12, there was the uh, contain button, uh, which is a shame that that's there. But um, hopefully, there's nothing like that in this game. But we won't know until like a good month into the game, when everyone's been playing it for a while and has had time to. Uh, time to work out all the ins and outs of the game basically so yeah um, what am I gonna say um, yeah I'm really looking forward to the playing it online uh, probably be my biggest thing um, because to be honest it doesn't feel it doesn't feel you know all that impressive you know beating the computer but um, you know smacking someone about online it's just just absolute banter so <laughs> that's what I'm really looking forward to um, about online I'm hoping that um, People aren't going to really care about, you know, records and stuff like that because that would be a shame, to be honest, because, you know, this game is supposed to be about beating your opponent, not actually, you know, not literally like beating them by a big scoreline, but, you know, embarrassing them. I think that's that's what um, street football is really about. It's not so much about the score, but more about, you know, um, beating your opponent in one-on-ones and uh, going past them and stuff like that. So that's really what I'm hoping people will be looking to do in this game hopefully there'll be some sort of mode because I haven't actually checked out the modes yet um, hopefully there'll be some sort of mode that will allow people to uh, you know not care about scoreline and just care about getting you know points combos and stuff like that um, for going past people so that would be awesome if that was the case um, secondly um, I am thinking that um, it could in the first couple of uh, weeks I don't know, maybe not the first, maybe after a week it'll pick up a bit, but I think in the first week of this game playing, it's going to be really, really, it's going to be a button basher. Um, <laughs> I mean, um, there obviously will be a couple of people who will be well practiced up on the demo, so they'll be uh, ready for it, but um, to be honest, the general pe general people, I think, are going to be absolute monsters for button bashing everything, <laughs> um, you know, just hitting the sticks and stuff like that. So, um yeah, hopefully after a week that will uh, improve and people actually be, uh, you know, putting strings, stringing combos together and know what they're actually pressing before they're doing it and not just, you know, smashing the buttons hoping to go past you. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is um, I really like um, the responsiveness of the game. I might have already said that, but uh, it's so responsive. Like, the buttons, they... They basically do exactly what you're saying when you say it. I mean, that's that's the same with most games. But you know, with some with FIFA, sometimes I think it's a bit sluggish to respond to your your button movements. I mean, obviously players are limited by um, uh, by you know just general physics. That's uh, just the way it world, the world works. Some people, you know, they can't really do that. But in this, it actually seems like you might actually be able to score um, do some good moves. Um, as you can see, um, one of the big things that I really, really enjoy about this game is if you hold the LT button down, or the left trigger, left uh, LT, yeah, the left trigger on Xbox, or the L2 button on PS3, um, you'll actually just stand there and you'll have perfect control of the uh, ball. Now I'm just looking back through this gameplay, and I know that the scoreline is quite big, but I'm starting to think there aren't any good goals in it at all, which is a shame. Um, haven't scored all that many. I've only played like three. This was probably my uh, third game. Actually, that wasn't too bad uh, going past someone there. Yeah. So um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this was quite a good scoreline. Uh, six 0 against computer. I'm not sure what to say. It was on whatever defaults to, but um, I'm not. I'm not really bothered. Um, so yeah, it's a very very nice game. I love the um, the the L uh, the left trigger button. 
to, uh, I think it's called street style or something like that, that will stop the ball and you'll be able to move the ball forwards and backwards and basically what you want to do is you just want to pull it backwards and then as someone commits himself to a challenge then you can just go past them, it would be really nice if there was something like that. There's something a bit better on FIFA, I mean, uh, what there is at the moment is you can obviously do drag backs and stuff like that, but they are not. They don't feel, you know, responsive enough to uh, actually use on a regular basis. Um, they do look good in montage and stuff, but, you know, um, I don't feel myself that they work well enough. So, um, something like this in FIFA 13 would be awesome. Obviously, I don't, I don't want it to be ridiculous like this is. Um, but um, something a bit more responsive would be awesome. So, yeah, um, my general feeling is it's got to be a great game. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I actually have um, the money already loaded onto a gift card for a game station because when I traded in my XL ones, um, which broke, uh, they gave me credit rather than giving me uh, my money back or trading it out because I wanted a pair of X12s and they didn't have any when I went in. So, um yeah, so we've already got all the all the money ready for it. So I'm really looking for that. Although I might get a little bit distracted and uh, accidentally buy SSX before then. I don't know. Um, SSX looks very good as well. So uh, SSX was a really good game. Uh, SSX Tricky was awesome. So it's going to be hard for me to resist that and uh, not buy it. <laughs> so yeah, obviously you can see here. I'm just really, really, I'm really quite bad. I really didn't didn't do all that many skill moves or anything like that. I mean, obviously, I, I, I'm very used to using the skill moves on FIFA 12, but um, this is completely different. I mean, you don't hold down the LT button to actually even do a skill move. Um, that will just make you stand still, as I said before. Um, so learning learning the skill moves is going to be a little bit a bit tricky. And I've, I went, I, like, just before I um, recorded this commentary, I went and looked at what's been put up onto YouTube today for FIFA, and I was just, FIFA Street, and I was just like, oh, my God, some of the goals that have been scored are absolutely sick. Like people going around the goalkeeper multiple times, and um, oh, it's just blow I was already, I've already been blown away. But some of these people might have been playing all day. Um, they might have already sussed out the system completely. So um, yeah, the other thing that I'm really looking forward to is the arenas that will have walls around the edges because you'll just be able to bounce it off and stuff, and you may be able to score bicycle kicks and stuff like that. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Anyway. For the last little bit, just to end the video, I had to show you this. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, probably one of the best things in the game, and that is Joe Hart wearing a tank top. <laughs> so, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.